is a welterweight showdown between Jared Cannonier and Bruce Lee. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure this sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Cannoneer is five years the elder. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla, Cannoneer! All right, give me three days in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 
All right, so Jared Cannonier with a window of opportunity here. Beautiful jab to get the striking party started. Beautiful jab, and then watch for him to follow with leg kicks. Remember the kick against Anderson Silva. He blew his leg out. Anderson had to be carried from the octagon because of the kicks of Jared Cannonier. He's a big, powerful guy that's become a fantastic mixed martial artist. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good right hand. He got the turtle in that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice loose and punch. He blocks the punch. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Big kick lands. Cannoneer gets caught by that straight hand. Slips. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Looking to land the leg kick now. Beautiful body kick. Nice hook lands. lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg. Back and forth we go here! All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, he heard a belly jab. Big leg kick land. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Big kick. Punch is blocked. 15 seconds to go. Throws the right hand there. Just misses there with the left. And they separate. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent, 
will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. And he continues to work the body here. He blocks the shot. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Powerful leg kick, man. Great punch. Comes in close, controls the opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by the Alaskan Jared Cannoneer. Just out of range with the big right hand. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Cannoneer gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Big punch land. Ooh. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice stick to the body. Way to mix up the target. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! Huge kick to the head. He got it. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Good punch land. So 93 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannon. Well, not necessarily the connection rate you'd like to see, landing with 32% accuracy thus far against Jared Kennedy. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his fall. Oh, that and potentially a critical takedown here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice leg kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee's eyebrow got opened up on that shot. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Kennedy. That was Kate Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to hurt very bad with him. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got clip with the right hand. Let they hit. continue to exchange. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Nice straight punch. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. All right, man, listen, you got him. Really hurt him at the end of that round. He is still going to be hurt. There's no way he's going to recover. 
I need you to get out there. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, big one to land. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Right punch is there. the shot really timing his shots nicely good tempo very accurate finding the range with relative ease yeah he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity he's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this Tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Counter punch is good by the Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just missed with the left there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Cannonier. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Leg kick checked by Lee. Cannoneer gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. What a body kick. Slips to avoid that left. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Beautiful kick. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Left hand punches the clinch. And they separate. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Checks the leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thighs, beating his leg up. Cannoneer gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Punch coming is blocked. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a beautiful one-two, and really every time you fight, you want to present a more developed, better version. That has certainly been the case every step of the way for Cannonier. Yeah, Cannonier was a good prospect when he entered the U.S. Now you can see the finished product. You can see a guy. Oh, that's the sport. How 
Does his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Blocks the shot. Oh! He's in trouble. Oh. from the crowd. They're all watching that lip and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. How good is that right hand? Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. Oh, right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly leg. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. That strike blocked by Lee. Plus right hand is true. Oh, spinning back. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Try to establish that jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Left punch is true. Effective strike there. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! to the body now, that one won't land. Oh! Wow! Oh, he's, hurt bad. he's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he got it bad! All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, hammer fist here by Lee. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Trying to go. Oh! It's over. He got it! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Berkley out has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Kadamir! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and 